Breakthrough in Cold Case Arrest made in the 1999 murder of Sherry Holtz In a dramatic turn of events, the Sanford Police Department announced on July 19 that Gary Durantz, the longtime boyfriend of Sherry Holtz, has been arrested and charged in connection with her brutal murder. This arrest comes more than two decades after Holtz's body was discovered on December 4, 1999, in a wooded area in Sanford, Florida. Thanks to advancements in DNA testing technology, law enforcement has finally been able to crack this cold case wide open. On that fateful day in 1999, someone collecting Ken stumbled upon a gruesome scene, the lifeless body of Sherry Holtz, 50, lying on her back on a concrete slab. The initial investigation revealed a horrifying level of violence. Holtz's neck had been cut, which was identified as the primary cause of death. Additionally, she had suffered blunt force trauma to the head, strangulation, lacerations on her upper body, and severe sexual trauma. It was a crime that shocked the local community and left law enforcement with a daunting task. There is no other way to describe it but a brutal homicide, stated Bianca Gillette, a public information officer for the Sanford Police Department. The severity of the crime was beyond comprehension, and the lack of immediate leads made it a particularly challenging case to solve. At the time of the initial investigation, a sexual assault kit was performed, but no DNA was found. A blood-stained knife recovered at the scene also proved to be unhelpful due to the sample being insufficient in size for testing at that time, as police noted. Chief of Police Cecil E. Smith explained, looking for DNA wasn't as prolific as it is today. Despite these limitations, Durant's had already been on the radar of investigators. He became a suspect early on after it was revealed that he and Holtz had fought just days before her murder, leading to her being kicked out of their shared home on December 2, 1999. Their tumultuous relationship was marred by a history of domestic violence incidents dating back to 1996. However, without concrete evidence, the case went cold, leaving Holtz's family and friends in a state of prolonged agony. Fast forward to May 2023, when the Sanford Police Department decided to reopen the cold case. With the advancements in DNA testing technology, investigators were hopeful that they could uncover new evidence. Their perseverance paid off. They discovered that the blood on the blade of the knife did indeed belong to Holtz. More significantly, additional DNA found on the handle of the knife matched Gary Durant's. Armed with this new physical evidence and corroborated by witness statements, an arrest warrant was issued for Durant's on July 17. He was located and arrested the following day, subsequently being charged with second-degree homicide. Durant's is currently being held in Seminole County Jail. Following his arrest, Durant's reportedly made comments to investigators that allegedly admitted his involvement in Holtz's murder. We are absolutely positive that the right man is behind bars tonight, Gillette said. And he will finally serve justice and have to answer for his crimes. The arrest has provided a glimmer of hope for justice and closure, although it raises questions about the systemic failures that allowed Durant's to remain free for so long. It also underscores the critical importance of modern forensic techniques in solving long-standing cases. Police have been in the process of notifying Holtz's adult son about the arrest. We just kind of hope that this brings some peace to the family knowing that this individual, who was a long-time boyfriend, will now spend the rest of his natural life in jail, Smith said, and have the opportunity to face justice for the things that he has committed to Sherry. Holtz's son and other family members have lived through more than two decades of uncertainty and grief, compounded by the knowledge that the person responsible for their loved one's death had not been held accountable. While the arrest cannot undo the past, it does offer a sense of closure and justice that has been long overdue. The arrest of Gary Durant's in connection with the 1999 murder of Sherry Holtz is a testament to the relentless efforts of law enforcement and the transformative power of DNA technology. It serves as a reminder that justice, though sometimes delayed, is not beyond reach. For more updates on ongoing crime investigations 
and to stay informed about the latest developments in unsolved cases, sign up for People's Free True Crime Newsletter. The story of Sherry Holtz is a sobering reminder of the importance of perseverance in the quest for justice and the role that technological advancements can play in uncovering the truth. As we look back on this case, let it also remind us of the countless other cold cases that remain unsolved, waiting for the moment when a breakthrough in science or a renewed investigation might finally bring the perpetrators to justice.